If you woke up today and your computer's working fine, consider yourself lucky, because right now, millions of Windows PCs are sporting the blue screen of death thanks to one colossal screw-up by cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike. We're talking airports shut down, hospitals in chaos, and fast food drive throughs offline. Yep, you heard that right. A company meant to protect us from cyber disasters just caused one of epic proportions. The irony? It's thicker than a Windows update progress bar. Welcome back to my channel, folks. Today, we're diving into the digital dumpster fire that's got corporate America sweating bullets. Imagine that you're a big shot company, you fork over millions to CrowdStrike to keep the cyber boogeymen at bay, and boom, their protection just KO'd your entire operation. We're talking Fortune 500 companies brought to their knees faster than you can say, blue screen of death, folks. Now you might be thinking, hold up, how does one little update cause so much chaos? Well, buckle up, because we're about to take a deep dive into the belly of this beast. We'll break down the how, the why, and the oh my god, how did they mess up this badly, of it all. Plus, we'll look at why giving one company the keys to your complete digital database might not be the smartest move after all. So grab your non-Windows device and let's get into it. Okay, so let's break down what actually happened here. CrowdStrike, a big player in the cybersecurity game, has this product called Falcon. It's supposed to be the superhero of the digital world, using fancy AI and real-time analytics to spot threats before they can cause trouble. Sounds great, right? Well, not when it goes haywire. Falcon works by integrating deep into your operating system, often using kernel mode drivers. For those of you who aren't tech nerds, that's like giving it a master key to your whole computer. It sits there in the background watching for anything suspicious. The problem is, when something that deep in your system fails, it can take the whole computer down with it. And that's exactly what happened. Last night, CrowdStrike pushed out an automated software update, but this update had a nasty surprise hidden in it. Some bad code that essentially told Windows to go jump off a cliff. The result? Every computer that got that update is now stuck in an endless cycle of blue screens and reboots. Now, you might be thinking, can't they just turn it off and on again? If only it were that simple. This isn't your average, have you tried restarting situation. The affected computers need to be rebooted in safe mode and the problematic driver manually removed. And here's where it gets worse. Most employees don't have the access or know how to do that themselves. So IT departments worldwide are having the busiest day of their lives. All right, so let's now talk about the fallout because it's not just Bob from accounting who can't access his spreadsheets. We're seeing real world consequences that are frankly terrifying. Airports around the world have ground to a halt. Over in India, they're writing boarding passes by hand like it's 1985. The London Stock Exchange? Yeah, it's having a really bad day. Banks can't access your money, hospitals are struggling to treat patients, and I wouldn't be surprised if people start bartering for food soon. But here's where it gets really wild. Remember how I said CrowdStrike is used by a ton of big companies? Well, they've got over 500 clients on the Fortune 1000 list. That means this isn't just affecting a few unlucky businesses. We're talking about a significant chunk of the global economy grinding to a halt. CrowdStrike, to their credit, was quick to respond. They've already admitted fault and are working on a fix. But their stock, let's just say it's not having a great day. They've been quick to point out that this isn't a security incident or cyber attack. It's just a good old-fashioned screw-up. The fix they've proposed is, well, let's call it involved. It involves detaching disks, creating snapshots, mounting volumes, and a whole lot of other tech jargon that might as well be ancient Greek to most people. Or as I like to put it, it's the IT equivalent of performing open heart surgery while riding a unicycle. Now let's take a moment to consider the poor soul who wrote this update. Somewhere out there is a programmer who's probably having the worst day of their life. Their tech lead is about to run Git Blame and find out exactly who caused this global meltdown. Not only are they likely to lose their job, but they've also got the weight of shutting down critical infrastructure on their shoulders. Hospitals, transportation networks, even the drive through at your local fast food joint, all down because of one bad line of code. But here's the thing, we shouldn't be too quick to point fingers at this one developer. What we're seeing here is a classic case of the cure being worse than the disease. These big corporations are under immense pressure to secure their systems. They're constantly being audited and scrutinized. So instead of hiring a small army of in-house cybersecurity experts, they outsource to companies like CrowdStrike. On paper, it makes sense. Pay a few million a year to a specialized firm to handle all your cybersecurity needs. It's efficient, it's cutting edge, and most importantly, it gives you someone else to blame if things go south. 
But what everyone seemed to overlook is the massive risk of giving one company kernel-level access to most of the Fortune 500's computers. It's like handing over the keys to your house, your car, and your safety deposit box to a security company. Sure, they might be experts, but what happens when they accidentally lock everyone out? That's essentially what we're dealing with here. One misplaced zero in an automatic update and suddenly we're living in a tech apocalypse. So where do we go from here? Well, for starters, if you're reading this on a Windows machine that's still functioning, count yourself lucky. For the rest of the world, it's going to be a long day of manual fixes and frustrated IT teams. But beyond the immediate chaos, this incident should spark some serious conversations in boardrooms and government offices around the world. We need to talk about redundancy, about fail-safes, about not putting all our digital eggs in one basket. And for those of you out there thinking, hey, my Mac Linux machine is fine, don't get too smug. While you might have dodged this particular bullet, the underlying issue affects us all. Our digital infrastructure is more fragile than we'd like to admit, and it's only a matter of time before the next big hiccup comes along. So the next time your computer asks you to update, maybe think twice before hitting that remind me later button. Or don't. Who knows, you might just avoid the next digital apocalypse. And that's all for this video, folks. If you've stuck around this long, I really appreciate that. If you liked the video, why not like and subscribe? It's sure to help the channel and motivate me to continue doing what I do. If on the other hand, you didn't like the video, please let me know in the comments below so that I can improve my mistakes. As always, you've all been fantastic. Stay tuned for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.